you know, when I bought it, I didn't think I would ever use this, but it's it's amazing how much I actually use the side pole. Hey guys, Brad here with Skyline Construction. And today we're gonna be looking at a tool that I use all the time. This is my hammer. So I have upgraded to the stiletto a few years ago and I'll never look back. This hammer is absolutely amazing. And we'll get into that in a little bit here. Um, first, I'll show you the hammer I started off with probably when I was a kid. This was my dad's hammer, gave it to me. Um, we have a couple of these and these are brutal. I don't even know what this is. Um, it's heavy, it's ugly, and it's brutal. But this is a relic, so I still have it. Then from there, when I first started, I kind of got into the Stanley hammers. This is an anti-vibe, it sounded good. Um, it's pretty rusted. We just use this for demolition and, and whatever, but uh, I used the anti-vibe for many, many years. I don't really like it at all, but uh, I didn't know much better. And we're going back like 17, 18 years here. And um, I ended up getting bad tennis elbow because of, of bad hammers. Um, I then moved up to this Stanley. This is the MIG 15, a lot lighter. So I believe this is a 15 ounce. Um, better balance, but this didn't last very long. The handle just got real loose. And again, didn't fix my tennis solo. So I did some reading and the stiletto here, I think I've had this maybe five years now. Um, this hammer just changed the way I, I hammer. Um, my tennis elbow went away. The hammering didn't bug me anymore. It was so bad for like a year. I could barely even pick up a hammer. I damaged my elbow so bad from, from just construction. But um, this, this thing's full titanium. It has some sweet nail pulling action on the side as well as your typical claw. So I'll demonstrate that here in a second as well as the ability to hold a nail up here with the magnet. So if you're reaching kind of far, you know, you can set a nail and you can just set it in place. Um, there's a Allen key spot here in the back. Now that is for if you want to change out your, your waffle head. Mine's starting to get kind of smooth, so I don't know, maybe another year I'll replace it. Um, Overall, it's just a really great hammer. If you're getting into carpentry and you're serious about it, I would say right off the bat, invest in a good hammer. It doesn't have to be the full titanium. You could go with wood or the, the other ones that they have out there. Um, the Martinez hammers, they are amazing. Mark Martinez is the one who started Stiletto. Now he's doing his own, like uh, I think it's like an M1, M3, I believe. Um, I've never used those hammers, but that guy, he knows what he's doing when it comes to hammers. So I'm sure they're great. All their heads are removable as well. So pretty, pretty cool hammer. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if you're getting into carpentry, I highly recommend just starting off with a good hammer. If you know you're gonna be doing a lot of swinging, a lot of framing, cribbing, that type of stuff, just start off with a good hammer because you do not want to have tennis elbow it is a nightmare to have. So let's just do some demonstrations here. Um, oh yeah, another thing is this handle. If it gets damaged, you can replace this rubber overmold here. And this, this shank goes all the way down to here. Um, this is a 15 ounce hammer, by the way. So yeah, we'll just pound a couple nails in here um, and I'll show you how to, to pull them out. I'll just put my glasses on. You got your glasses on, good. Okay, here we go. So let's say we got a nail like that. You can pull them over just with this side bit. And you know, when I bought it, I didn't think I would ever use this, but it's, it's amazing how much I actually use the side pull. Um, it's just really, really handy. The only thing you have to be careful of is if you reef on this, the nails flick out. Even there, just hit my hand, but they will flick. So if you're doing this, toward or away from you, um, they can flick up 
if you're doing it towards you, it might flick at you. So it's, it's something to be very, very aware of. But, you know, you pounding these in is a breeze with this hammer. I just love it. You don't feel it in your arm at all. Um, I can't recommend the stiletto enough. Now, like I said, Martinez came out with a bunch of new hammers, so um, those are the talk of the town right now. And I'm sure I'll try one one day, but for now, this stiletto, this is, this is my go-to hammer. And I even use this for demolition and everything. I'm just not gonna screw around anymore with, with these types of hammers. Um, you know, the Stanleys are, I guess they're good for beginners, but if you're gonna use them a lot, just can't emphasize enough about protecting your body when you've been doing this a long time you know, your body just you realize how important it is if it's not working you, you can't work right so um, yeah stiletto all the way for me guys I'll leave a link down below uh, if they're on Amazon we can you can check them out they're pretty expensive I think I paid like 250 bucks 300 bucks for this thing when it came out um, but, but well worth the money. All right, guys, so I'd love to hear what hammers you guys are using. Uh, I know there's so many to choose from. So yeah, just shoot some comments down below and uh, I'd love to hear what you're using, what you recommend. Um, make sure you subscribe, hit that notify bell and give me a thumbs up because you can't beat Stiletto. So till next time, guys, keep on crushing it and we'll catch you later.